back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of CleanBot Cleanup 2000, or Elix. As it were, we are roaming through the converters, doing stuff, killing albs, alb commanders, and... Oh, there, oh gosh, there's all sorts of terrible things happening to me. Yeah. And dead. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. Okay. This was actually completely jammed full of owls all around the place, outside, inside the place. Just tons and tons and tons of owls everywhere. A bit much. There's a decree. And stuff on the other side of this that. I'm not sure what it's going to lead to, but I'd have to assume it's going to be something really good or really bad. Maybe some secret will be revealed about things that are important that matter in some capacity. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Man. What a crazy, crazy game this has been so far. It has been absolutely insane. There is so much area and ground to cover. Area. <laughs> and we're... I don't know. Do you think we're even halfway done with the game yet? I have to assume we're probably at least close to the halfway mark. I don't have any idea how many hours the game's supposed to be. I think some people said like over 100 hours. Some people said somewhere around 60. I really don't know. And it depends on how much random just wandering you do too. And as I'm sure you guys remember and recall, I've done a fair share of wandering and rambling and just going to different places that I probably didn't need to, nor should I have gone. So, imagine that doesn't bode well. That sounded like something nasty. Is there like a cave troll around here or something? I don't know. I do not know. What I do know is we successfully did that thing. I guess. So, cool. There's another converter over that way. I thought I had something on the map marked. Apparently not. Oh, the half defective can. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta return to my buddy. Wish there was a bed around here somewhere. I thought there was, but I'm I'm now thinking I'm like, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there wasn't, because I can't remember if or where the last time I saw a bed was. Okay, so we just run up this thing, pretty much straight shot. We should get to where we're wanting to go. We got to stop and grab some plant life along the way. Is it raining now, or is it just the bubbling brook? I think it's the brook. Oh, right next to the teleport. I guess I could have just teleported. That's true. Alright, buddy, I got you. Whatever you needed. I have the target acquisition module you need. I thought it was the thing from Tavar, but he needed something from the clerics, not from the Alps. That should reset your command systems. Analyze and report. Command systems functional and fully operational. U4 unit now awaiting command. State command. Follow me. I'm using a camp called Origin. It's between Adan and Abessa. Here are the coordinates. You're to help defend it. Coordinates confirmed. Defense confirmed. Commander, analyzing. Incorrect faction affiliation. Our priorities have changed, you 4 A faction offers a chance of survival and to get answers. Survival? Analyzing. Recommend more effective equipment. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm working on it. Are we going to be okay, you 4 Yes, Commander. Uh, so, repairs done? So, are your repairs complete? Negative. Weapon systems remain offline. Can you identify the problem? Target acquisition module is defective. 
U3, the drone at the crash site should provide a replacement part. Of course. You mean back at the Raider crash site? All right. Falk, are you still with me, buddy? All right, well, whatever. They, they gave us another quest. Oh, I suppose I should come up with something for us here. Heads must roll, new weapon systems. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. A lawful berserker. Uh-huh. Making things right. Yeah, I don't care. Abessa locked out. I guess that's going to be our next uh, mission objective. Got to find a way into the domed city. Or the doomed city, as I'm going to call it. Because once I get in, it's going to blow up and kill everyone. Probably not. But you never know. Okay, so as long as nobody wants to kill me immediately, I believe there's a place I can rest over here somewhere. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, it's just a random outlaw. Who are you? I would have liked to see the old world as it was before the comet. Well, I'm gonna take a nap right here, buddy. Hopefully that's okay. Don't leave yet. Oh, no, 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 no. The old world back is here. truly fascinating. Excuse me, outlaw. Welcome to the camp of the impure. Thank you. Stop right there, cleric. You control enough of the domed city without dragging your asses out here as well. That is a shared city. That means we are all supposed to get part of it. Uh huh. So go back and bow down to Kalan in your part. We don't want you here. People are afraid of that. Dude, I will own you. Piss off and polish your laser somewhere else, cleric. Piss off and polish your laser somewhere else, cleric. Well, that doesn't seem to be all that useful. Get something to drink first. <sighs> I could just kill you. I mean, like, that's not that difficult of a prospect for me. Like, I could just end you. Like, it would not be difficult. I wonder how much how much money do we have? We have like fifteen thousand? Oh, we almost have twenty thousand already. Jeez. Needs a key. Of course it does. Doesn't everything. That's what our pick locks are for. Similar to lock picks, but totally different. Healing potion, gold nugget, metal scrap, mug, sulfur nugget. Go into the back. Ooh, we got the chest key. Cool. Hey, you guys shouldn't leave stuff unguarded. I'm just saying. This better be something amazing. Yep, about as useless as everything else. Yeah, that's that's about right. Take that bundle of old world money, though. This herb, and we will kill that rot boar. Which may or may not actually be a rot board. It's a ripper. It's rot board light, basically. And it's rot board dead. Really? You survived long enough to... To get that final attack that you were bleed... Hmm. What's up, buddy? Traveling merchant. Well... I guess I head back to the Dome City and say, hey, they don't want me here. They say I'm a cleric and they dislike me, so. That's not the way of the Dome City, right? We're supposed to welcome all, not just, you know, be rude and send people away. I could kill that guy, I bet you. I bet you I could kill him. I'm not going to, but I bet I could. Well, I might, but I don't think. Halt! Not a step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. I'm a cleric. I can help if you let me through. I'm a cleric. I can help you if you let me through. A brother in Kalan is always welcome to the Dome City. We need every man we can get. It's a powder keg in there. Watch yourself. The outlaws will be keeping track of you as soon as you get inside. Here, this entry ID will allow you in and out. Oh, sweet. And you might need to get out. There are Albor bands passing by through here regularly, and the outlaws are planning some sort of rebellion. This city is supposed to be a refuge from the war, but we're brewing our own mini version of it in here. Enough from me. You'd better go in. And 
Report into Alois when you do. There's more than enough work going around for clerics. Oh, and uh, there are some rules I need to tell you before you enter. First, stay away from the generators. Nobody but the technicians is allowed access to them. That sort of security is why we need to keep an eye on IDs. So if you meet someone who's in the city illegally, report them to us immediately. Sure. And Eric will take care of them. We can only keep peace in the city if we all work together. And we keep the city secure. That's what was laid down by the Great Council of Magalan. And the Great Council gave the clerics the responsibility for guaranteeing the city's independence. That means everyone is welcome here until they cause trouble. So keep the peace while you're in there. Okay. Our suggestors are busy enough without you adding to their workload. And that's it. You may pass. Sweet. So what's happening in the... Oh, we leveled. What? What's happening in the city? What's happening We're so in the close. City? Nothing right now, but it's simmering. You can feel it. There was something building even before we let those Alps separatists in here. They just lit the touch paper. But hey, we're supposed to be a sanctuary, so someone decided to open the gates and let the separatists in. Nice. Well, I was also an Alb once, man. I was also an Alb once. You? A cleric who used to be an Alb? <laughs> nice one. Like Kalan would ever welcome an Alb to the infinite skies. Uh huh. Where can I find Eric? Just go straight down the path into the inner city. You should find him there. You mentioned the Council of Magalon. The Great Council, yes. You'll have to speak to Judicator Alois if you want to know more about that. I'm not that well informed on my history. All right. Well, who is Alois? Who's Alois? Alois is the Judicator in charge of the city. You'll find him in the castle. He likes to stay close to the generators. Okay, I'm going to take these energy cells, by the way. And we're going to head on in. I've entered the, the Dome City. Okay, so new territory and more stuff to loot. I'm pretty excited. Oh, sweet plasma cells. Oh, sweet, sweet plasma cells. Die, isopod. It's two more experience closer to the next level. The Paladin level. Some weird pumpkins here. But there we go. Like I can't seem to get over the pumpkins. Hey, beggar, what's going on? I'm gonna take your lamp. What do you want? Tell me about the city. Tell me about the city. Right. Well, where to start? First off, a lot of people are avoiding the north of the city. This place always has something going on, but right now there's really something brewing. That means the North isn't exactly welcoming unless you're a thug. Which I am. The Western section's safer. You're okay there as long as you don't break the law or look funny or say something the clerics don't like. The Southern part, well, that is really quiet. Nothing really happens there. But wherever you are, you should know the clerics are watching. Alois, he runs this place and he hates thieves and beggars and trouble causers and pretty much anyone. Yep, sounds he about right. He thinks he's God's messenger or something, and that means he's got one big old stick up his ass. <sighs> so don't piss him off. If you ignore anything else, don't ignore that advice. Don't piss off the clerics. There now. You are fully informed. I'm also a cleric. Well, it seemed like a bold choice to tell me not to upset myself. Hey, outlaw. I'm just going to randomly steal stuff, if you don't mind. Like, I know I already have these things, but eh, why not take them as well? I guess I could sneak. Probably shouldn't steal from these people. They seem pretty... Pretty happy to have the few things that they have. I shouldn't ruin that for them. Yet. Attention thieves. 
I took an attention thief, son. Uh, that feels that feels right. Okay. Well, looks like this is a, maybe a cleric's headquarters. I'm I'm not sure. Hey you. Yeah. Let me guess. I'm not allowed into the upper quarter. What? No, everyone's allowed to move about freely here. I just have a question for you. You got here recently, right? Yep. I just want to know what things are like outside the dome. What's going on up there? Are the Alps attacking? Uh, there are raids. There are raids, but there have been no major assaults recently. I'm sure that's just the calm before the storm. I just hope the dome holds. There's a lot of people depending on this dome of mine. So they pass us by like a river around a rock. Kalan gave us the knowledge, and now look what we've achieved. A safe harbor for all people. The clerics and Ignodon say we've strayed. I say we've found the true path. You built the dome? I designed the plans for it. Then we built it together. Huh. My name is Eric, by the way. Interesting. Chief engineer here in the dome. I'm in charge of all the generators and technicians who oversee them. Okay. Why don't we have a dome like this in the Hort? The dome requires immense amounts of energy, and the fluctuations in it have to be constantly balanced. The technology is complex. That means there's no way to cover the Hort with a shield like this. Besides, the cliffs around Hort give it a natural protection. Can this dome survive an Albatech? Of course. Why do you think we built it? As long as we Don't can know. maintain a constant energy flow, then they can't get in. Unfortunately, achieving that isn't so easy. Some of the energy regulators are starting to malfunction again. Uh-huh. That does sound bad. I can repair the energy regulators for you. Sweet. Thanks for the offer, but that's not necessary. I've already repaired the components. They just haven't all been installed yet. About the broken energy regulators. What will happen if they aren't repaired? If just one regulator fails, it could mean an emergency shutdown for the dome. Otherwise, the discharge it would create could kill a whole lot of the people the shield is supposed to be protecting. Well, that seems not so good. Whether it's a discharge or an emergency shutdown, both scenarios would see us defenseless. How many energy regulators are broken? Well, all of them. I've sorted replacements where I can. But Lutz hasn't received his yet. Well? I will help you with the energy regulators. I'd wanted to do it myself, but... Do you really think you could handle it? But I wouldn't have expected anything else from a cleric. I have the energy regulator here. Please, take it to Lutz and help him to install it. Come back to me when you're done. Sure. Alright, let's get that going then, friend. Let's do it. Oh, Lutz. I'm coming for you, buddy. Yeah, I'm walking on the roof. What? Well, see, how do how do clerics, albs, and all these people live in, we'll, we'll say, harmony? Hey, you. Uh, I heard you speaking to Eric. He gave you an energy regulator for the dome, right? Uh -huh. Give it to me, will you? Very soon now, you're going to need the right sort of friend, and giving that to me will earn you that. Why? Why do you want the regulator? Haven't you noticed the tension here? All the anger and the plotting? It scares the hell out of me. So I want a way out of here if things go wrong. A sort of backdoor. I want to modify the regulator so I can drop a section of the dome and get out if things go bad. Let me modify it. Then I'll give it back to you so you can get it to where it needs to be. You've got to see why I'd want a way out, yeah? So do we have a deal? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm a cleric. I won't betray the Dome City. You clerics all have sticks up your asses. Thank you. You think your clan wouldn't understand me wanting to stay alive? You, you really don't have to worry about getting out of here. Just take your time. Enjoy your days while you still can. Dude, I will remarkable. chop your face off. Hush. Get, get to step and kick rocks. Get out of here. Oh, I fell in a hole. All right. Break every once in a while Who doesn't? Ah. 
Lutz, my friend. Keep your hands off my machines. Whoa. I don't care if you are a fellow cleric, unless... How are you when it comes to engineering? Do you have any experience? I'm trying to work out whether to use a single phase or triple phase generator for the energy supply system. Clearly the triple. A three phase? I assume you want to free up a few surge capacitors in the system. You're asking the wrong guy. Well, I'm not quite there. asking the wrong guy. Yeah, I thought it was a long shot. Still, I'll have to go figure this out myself. The energy regulators are screwed. The surge gauge is failing and I can't see why. And now the shield profiler is returning a really strange set of values. Altogether, that makes for one dangerous set of problems that could fry both of us if the wrong bit of kit gets jolted. Huh. And I'm the one who has to fix all this. Ah, oh, shit, I can't even sort out the replacement parts until I have this stabilized. Okay, well, you know what? Eric sent me. Eric sent me. Oh, thank Kalan. Do you have the energy regulator? I do. Yes. Here. Perfect. That looks great. Thanks. Thanks for getting that. I'll install it immediately. You better get back to Eric. You can tell him I'm putting it in right now. Okay. Will do, friend. As long as I get paid a bunch of shards and make a fairly decent amount of uh, experience out of all this, totally worth. Hashtag worth. Alright. Well, that was a very under... Or un very underwhelming jump. Oh, yeah, he's over here, isn't he? Hey, wait, where are you? Am hey. I crazy, or is our generator power fluctuating? What's up, man? He's got it. Lutz has the energy regulator. Good. The dome should be more stable now. I thank Kalan for sending you. Well, maybe ask Kalan to give me more uh, stuff yeah, next time. Until later. Plasma rockets, that sounds fun. Well, that's a thing that we did. Do we, uh, is there anything else we need from Eric? The dome is a gift from Kalan. Never forget that. Okay. Do you guys actually have a workbench laying around? Because I could use one. There's stuff for me to do. There's stuff. Move it. Move it, Falk. You can get out. Why? Am I not supposed to be here? Imagine someone's gonna report my crime and it's gonna cost me whatever. I'm fine with it. Not thrilled, but I'm fine with it. Okay, well, let's head up here. I like how this drone's floating around. It's kind of cool. Alright, well, I guess we should enter from the... Yep, someone reported my crime. I know. Like, how are they going to know who it was? I mean, I am somewhat easy to recognize, but at the same time... Alright, come on. Somebody tell me I need to go. Uh, and why are we still working? To someone. Alois has ordered that you must report to him immediately. Uh-huh, go to Alois. That's actually exactly where I was heading. Hello, Suggester. You must be Alois over here. Oh, there's a shiny wrench in there. So 
the propaganda. All right, well, I could talk to you, and I guess I should. Halt! You are accused of theft. You must pay the fines that go with your crimes, or live with the consequences. Yeah, whatever. I will pay my fine. Thank you for paying me so quickly. Uh -huh. I consider your fines as paid in full. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Look at that. Yes. Is there something urgent? Isn't there always? I have a lot to do, as you can imagine. This city does not run itself. <laughs> so, please excuse me if I am short with you. This city is made up of a whole mass of confusion. Everyone looking for a new start. No one able to forget their past. They need a leader to hold things together. Okay. Leadership and a strong faith. Leadership and a strong faith. Correct. That is what distinguishes a true cleric. That is why I'm glad both of us are on the same page. Everyone here wants something. Whatever you're searching for, it will only add to the list of demands we already face. And providing for the people we already have is a logistical challenge. That means to accommodate everyone, we're on strict rations, and those rations have to be earned. I can imagine. He's creepy looking now. Like, I feel like he does not look as... Un... I mean, he already looked creepy, like, always. But I feel like he's more creepy. How long have you been in charge of the Dome City? I've been in office for eight years now. And it hasn't been easy. Maintaining a neutral position to the factions while fighting the Albs. By Kalan, there really are more pleasant posts they could have appointed me to. Uh-huh. What if someone wanted to replace you? Some have tried. Whoa. Yet I am still here. This city was created by the great council of Magalan. They made the clerics custodians of this place and their legacy. The great council may be long gone, but what they stood for, a unity of purpose, a future for all of Magalan together, that is something we still believe in here. So, it is our job to remain neutral. It is our job to serve all, no matter their background, however hard our residents make it for us. Okay. Listen, the council is gone. Why do you care about what they said? Listen, the council is gone. Why care about what they said? You don't think that was a better time? Laws for prisoner exchange? That assured borders? Set rules for trade? Even if you don't care about the blood spilled since the council's rule was broken, the cleric swore to a code, and that includes keeping our oaths. And an oath was sworn to the council by my forefathers. That makes it my duty to see that oath is kept. That's fair. How are things here in the Dome City? Tense. The battles out there are always reflected in here. Tensions run high if the outlaws attack the clerics, or the clerics attack the berserkers. And there's always the fear of an Alb invasion. Those tensions drive greed, anger, and fear. There is war out there, and here your shards will be stolen from your hand if you aren't careful. It's like the world has gone crazy. I believe it maybe has. Mm hmm. Why have things become so bad? That's a whole host of reasons. I may be able to help you if I tell you how things are. The Berserkers have lived more and more reclusively ever since the Pilgrim went into his retreat. The Outlaws are more organized now the Duke has taken power, and the Alb Separatists seek shelter with us to escape the powers in Zakor. All told, very dark signs that we face another global catastrophe. And here we are, in the middle. That's fair. Are you having a lot of trouble here in the city? Keeping the factions together is always an issue. The outlaws are always up to something, but things have gotten worse, and to cap it all, we've had a sharp rise in thefts. I believe Awkward. an organized group has started operating here. Not the usual outlaws. This group seems to be outside the factions. From the little I've heard, they're more like a secret society than your regular set of theft mongers. I've offered a large bounty for any information that leads to their capture. And capture would be best. I want to find out who their connections are. If you can find out more about this secret society, I can make you rich. Sweet. Is there something I can help you with? We all need help at times. You must have noticed that the mood is very heated here. One more issue. One wobble. And everything we've held together here will fall to pieces. One of my people has reported that the outlaws are expecting a weapons delivery. The last thing that this city needs is more weapons. And who knows who the outlaws will sell them to. I want you to intercept this delivery and bring it to me. Sweet. Okay. About the outlaws' weapons delivery. You've been using informers to try and catch them? 
you've been using informers to try and catch them? Of course. Information is key to keeping the peace. But there are always things you miss. And missing things leads to nasty surprises. And I'd rather be the one dealing those out than receiving them. That's Particularly fair. Particularly when it comes to outlaws. Are you going to show me that you are the exception? You know what? I'll take care of that problem for you. Good. Very well, then. Your target is a woman. Her name is Paige. Get her talking and hope that she brings you in on her plan. Take these shards. You may need them to buy yourself some trust. What? You'll have to find Paige yourself. She's a slippery customer, and we've lost track of her. Contact? Is there something I should know about her? Apart from the fact that she's one of the outlaws, no. As soon as you get those weapons, or any information, just make sure you bring them to me. That was well done. <gasps> Workbench. Sweet. Okay, so... I would like to get my laser rifle here. And I would like to increase it into the next level, which would then put it up to 53. Which again, not the most impressive of upgrades, but it, it'll work. But yeah, I'm going to do it. And that's going to be better than the one before it. On this one, I am one short on dexterity and three short on intelligence. That puts it up to 72. Kind of want to go that route, but at the same time. So, the laser rifle is 53, our plasma rifle is 51. And the laser blaster is 47. If we increase the laser blaster, it would go up to 66, but we would need more intelligence by a pretty large amount. So... That being said, I don't think I'm going to do that. And likewise, I think it's time for us to check out our chain sword here. And to improve that, we're going to need more strength. And I know we're going to need more strength either way. So maybe if we can do strength next, we will. I'll see though. Because that's going to be a nice improvement. Reflector, serrated axe, both decorative and damaging. I need more strength for that as well. Snake bite. While it looked like it could have been cool, turns out it wasn't all that amazing. All right, so we did all that. Let's go take a peek. Can I can I build any kind of ammo yet? Nope. Oh, we can make a. Some elix drinks here. I'll craft. That many isn't of enough. Those. Oh, we can't craft any of them. Okay. Uh, healing potions. Yeah, I'll craft seven of those. Why not? Twenty. Sure. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, I can take the oil lamp. Does that mean I can take some more of this stuff? Nope, that's forbidden. So is that? Curiosity can get you killed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just looking around, man. Just settle down. It's fine. Ain't no thing. Just trying to see who's around, doing what they're doing. It's the night guard. It's fine. What? Who's Nothing. there? No one. You're dreaming. Go back to sleep. Well, we're sort of out of time again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, stuff just gets away from us. There's lots of dialogue, lots of storyline stuff that's advancing now. We're learning about a whole new area. There's going to be probably a dozen or two quests in here. I don't know. It's going to be quite a few, I imagine, spread all throughout. And I'm not sure I'm super keen on doing a ton of them, but I wouldn't mind doing some of them. Well, again, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Either way, folks, that's going to do it for this particular episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more craziness, chaoticness, and casualness, I guess, in Elix or something. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>